Well, high calorie items seem to be lurking everywhere these days, and many of them can even be found in the healthy food section. With us this morning to help identify these healthy but high calorie foods is our fitness expert, Wes Cole. Good morning. Morning. All right, this is kind of scary. It, it is. You know, most people, <laughs> when they start a low calorie diet, they have good intentions, and most of us are pretty good at looking at the healthy mm -hmm. stuff. But sometimes we get a little sidetracked when we're in the health aisle and, and we it's, find out that we have some hidden calorie bombs yeah. in there. So it we're going to go. It's healthy. Over. It's supposed to be good for <laughs> exactly, you, right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, well, the first unexpected calorie comes from peanuts, almonds, and seeds. Absolutely. Beth, come on out here. Like this. This is just a typical brand. And I do not want to take away, because there might be some nutritionists watching, um, nuts and seeds and almonds, they've been known to be very, very healthy. There's right. been a lot of research about that. But just one handful of maybe mixed nuts or mm -hmm. seeds, that can be close to 170 calories. And for a guy with a big hand, that can be even close to 200. <laughs> and I've seen this over the years sidetrack a lot of people's, people's weight loss goals. And you need to realize that if you eat you know, your almonds or seed, remember that two or three handfuls, that's not really a snack anymore. That's that's kind of a meal. Yeah. So make sure you be up. careful. They're very, very healthy. I don't want you to totally exclude them from mm -hmm. your diet, but be aware if you're on a low-calorie diet. Yes. So. All right. The next unexpected calorie comes from avocados. And I <sighs> love these, especially we, the guacamole. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and I was telling you, I had it last night. I love avocados, especially guacamole, but people do tend to get carried away yes. with it. Beth, come on out here. We got an avocado. But just this little avocado, <laughs> just to give you an example, about 300 calories, three, 320 calories. Really? Some of the big ones can be closer to 400. Man. And, you know, it's real easy to polish off two or three of these just yeah. in a good bowl of guacamole. Uh -huh. So you have to be real careful. What's weird is when I tell people to start eating more vegetables, they tend to for some reason, focus more on the avocados. And I think naturally, after two weeks, you've been on a low-calorie diet, we tend to crave kind of the high fatty stuff. We're kind of yes. having withdrawals. So just be aware of that. Be aware that, you know, you are pretty safe in the mm -hmm. produce aisle, but watch avocados. Maybe put a couple slices on your um, you know, sandwiches, but limit just the guacamole. A couple, not the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, limit the, you know, don't, put, don't have a guacamole sandwich. <laughs> but just, but just Ooh, limit it just a little bit. Though. I know, it does. It does sound good. Okay, the third um, unexpected calorie comes from juice. We hear this a lot. Well, you know, most experts these days, um, they're, they're telling us that juice is just, it's really not considered a health food anymore, right. but a lot of people, you know, they, they get kind of caught up in the marketing because it's still marketed mm -hmm. as one. And just to give you an example, kind of a visualization, we had it in the in the first shot, but this is one bottle of juice right here. I mean, it's close to, you know, 300 calories, right. you know, so you have to realize, and you, you have to be real careful with the serving size because mm -hmm. it'll say 170, but it's got two, it's got two servings. Yeah. So just be careful. Remember that even though fructose is a natural sugar, um, that's a lot of it. Just an apple and orange, that, it might contain less than 5% mm -hmm. fruit sugar. So Mother Nature really never intended it for us to get that mo much of, of the fructose in our bloodstream. And remember, you're, you're stripping it of fiber and stuff. And a lot of people think that maybe vegetable juice is better because it has less sugar. Right. But that even has a lot of sodium. So basically sure. what nutritionists are telling us, they're telling us that, you know, don't don't take away fruits and vegetables, but if you mm -hmm. want to eat them, just eat them in their natural form. They're, yes. they're best in their Be natural careful. form. careful. Read the labels. Know what and, you're if, and if you have to have juice, make sure it's a it's an actual juice, juice glass, glass and not, you know, something <laughs> like that. Not 32 ounces. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Now time to answer some questions from our viewers. This first question comes from David. I'm injury prone. What's the best way to prevent injury in the weight room? Well, this is very simple. Um, you know, we've heard it before, but especially guys. Women, they lift too light. Men, they just simply mm -hmm. lift too heavy. In fact, it's, it's so Trying bad. To show off. Uh, it, when, when a guy comes in, they said they've lifted weights in the past, I usually subtract about 50 or so pounds on all their lifts because they just they tend yes. to over, you know, um, you know, over measure their, their strength. So you want to be very, very careful. And it's important to remind all the, maybe the teenagers out there too, that there's a certain number of people that die every year in the weight room trying to press a wow. bar off their chest and then they end up getting into suffocating. So you have yeah. to respect the weight and remember that it's form that's very important. I mean, there's, there's, there's pictures, I have pictures at my house of a, a world champion practicing with a broomstick. So the idea of it is, is get the form down good yes. and make sure that if you are strong and you are lifting a lot of weight, make sure you have a spotter because you don't want to, you don't want to hurt yourself. Exactly. All right. The next question comes from Mary Ellen. This book I recently got tells me that my cancer is curable through natural cures. Is this true? I know the book she's talking about about, and I get this question a lot, and I'm not going to mention it on the air, but, but this particular author is currently being sued by the, by the wow. FDA right now. It's important in his unsubstantiated claims about how just natural cures can, can cause cancer, and oversimplifying such a, such a deadly disease as cancer is, is wrong, which is probably why he's going to end up in jail. Right. It's important to remember that if you have an illness or a disease, you don't need to be talking to a personal trainer. You don't need to be talking mm -hmm. to any health guru. You need to be talking to a medical doctor, um, you, and a real medical doctor, not someone that got their medical training from their imaginary friend. Mm -hmm. you, you gotta be, yes. you gotta be yes. real, real careful and be smart. And, about it. Yeah, be smart. All exactly. Right. Great advice today. Thank you, Wes. If you have a question that you would like Wes to answer, just go to the health section of our website, kjrh.com, or you can give Wes a call. His number is 749-0960 or visit his gym on 46th, just east of Sheridan.